What's going on everybody, this is Dilmer and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video we're going to be talking about the computers that I used to use and the computers that I use today. The reason for that is because I want to show you and share with you what computers are good for extended reality based on what I've been doing for the last few years. So by the end of the video you should have a good idea of what computers you need to get in order for you to get started with development. Keep in mind that you can start with anything that you have right now, you could do anything in no plus plus you can do you don't really don't need a fancy computer to get started but i've been using some of these computers because it really makes my development go a lot faster so the first one that i'm going to start with is the computer that i used to use which i move away from because it doesn't make me very productive the reason for that is because a lot of things don't run in the unity editor and that is a macbook pro it's an i9 processor it has 2.6 gigahertz 512 gigs and also 32 gigs of RAM. It's really, really fast, but when it comes to running, you know, if I want to do development for the Oculus Quest 2, if I want to do development for HoloLens, and some of these devices that require a Windows computer, because for instance, in the Oculus Quest, I need to run the Oculus Link. Well, the Oculus Link is not compatible with macOS, so I decided to move away from macOS because of that. The reason for that is because, let's say that you're building an experience and all of a sudden that experience you make a change you want to see it right in unity well you can do it quickly and see it in unity otherwise you're going to have to you know do an apk which is going to build the project you're going to have to deploy that project to the device so it's going to take a lot of time and it's very consuming so the other thing that i also realized if i'm using hololens development i can't really run most of the projects because they require the windows sdk which are not currently supported with mac os so short story is i don't use mac os anymore because it doesn't really help me with extended reality if you're using augmented reality development let's say you're using Bufuria, you're using ar kit you're using swift you need to deploy to ios i think a macbook pro is the perfect computer for that but in my case i need to do more than that so i decided to move to windows because of that the next computer that i ended up getting for you know after i got my macbook pro and realized that using something like that wasn't going to make my development go quicker is i decided to get a custom build i was going to build my own computer because you know developers programmers it you know we love taking things apart and putting things apart and putting things together and i decided i wanted to build one but i didn't have the time so i decided to get a computer from i buy power they're actually really fast i'm not a sponsor by that company but i really like their products i really like the computer that i got it's a pc is uh it's a desktop computer so it has currently has i7 it's an i7 processor the gpu that it came with is an rtx 2060 also 16 gigs of ram i decided to upgrade that to 64 gig and the ssd is, is one terabyte so really fast computer i really really like it but it wasn't the computer that allowed me to be very mobile so i use that for a lot of the tutorials that you see in the channel i use it for some of my clients so if i'm in the office i think that computer works well but i ended up you know needing something that i could go anywhere so if i wanted to go to a coffee shop if i wanted to work from a different place then you know i really needed a laptop so those two computers are great i mean using mac os is great if you're using you know like i said ar the desktop is great because it's really really fast the cooling system keeps the cpu you know very very fast and you know going from a mac to a desktop and using a lot of the tools that the windows world shares with me specifically for unity and using visual studio for me was a very big relief because things just work really, really fast and i'm not saying that mac os is as slow it just didn't really work well with the tools that i was using at the time and that i'm using today the last computer that i decided to get was the razor blade base i decided to go that way because i already have a macbook pro i already have a pc desktop and i didn't want to spend too much money but i wanted something powerful enough that was going to allow me to do vr development and also mixed reality development so the razor blade is really powerful it has an i7 processor it also has the one terabyte hard drive that's what it came off with and also 32 gigs of ram the graphic card is an rtx 2060 is powerful enough for me to run what i need in unity and i can also use it with the oculus link which is which is awesome because then i can run everything you know in the editor i don't have to wait for the build time so in conclusion i really recommend that you get a razor blade they're really powerful i've been using it for the last couple of months and i really recommend this computer and i'm also going to be putting all the different specs of the computers that i mentioned in this video so you guys have an idea of what to get depending on which route 
and make sure that you watch these playlists because I'm going to be making a lot more videos about MRTK. I already have a couple of videos in there for the core fundamentals of MRTK and make sure that you subscribe to the channel because that's going to keep me making a lot more videos. Thank you guys.